Welcome back to another episode of the Leak Detector Challenge. We just had the H10 win the 134A version of this challenge, and now we're moving on to 410A. So we're going to pit two different groups of leak detectors together. We're going to take the two best out of each one of those groups and put them into a championship match a few weeks from today. We're going to use the same coil that we have been using thus far to find our leaks, and let's introduce the leak detectors we're going to use in part one of this challenge the NAVAC NML1, the AccuTools EL520, the Robinair LD7, the Inficon TechMate, and the Fieldpiece SRL8. This is the coil we'll be using. This is our search area. This is the leak location as pinpointed before these tests began. We're gonna pass through these areas like this twice. If the leak detector does not pick up the leak, it is a fail. If it does pick up the leak, it is a pass. It has to be a definitive ring off, meaning you can't blip a couple times real fast. It has to have a significant ring off, meaning it has to sound like something you would accept in the field. Even though that is a little subjective, you guys know that you hear one, two, three little blips and nothing else. You wouldn't be satisfied with that in the field. You want to hear the nice long tone or ring off that will indicate that you actually have a leak. And we'll sort of define that as the process goes on, and we have defined that in previous tests. We're gonna take our 410A down there and put some into the coil and pump the rest up with nitrogen. We're gonna pump it up to around 200 PSI. We'll do a 200 PSI test, 100 PSI, and 50, and we'll go on lower if needed. Now, when we let 410A out of this coil, the mixture may not be let out in a uniform way. That is a concern since this refrigerant fractionates. Now what I will tell you guys is that it will be uniform in each test, meaning as we release the refrigerant, we'll be testing all the leak detectors on whatever mixture remains. And when we get to the championship, that'll be uniform as well. So even though from one test to another, it may not be equal, in the final test, it will be equal so it will be a fair representation of the best leak detectors. The first leak detector up will be the NAVAC NLM-1. Looks like it found it. The second leak detector up is the AccuTools EL-520. Seems to be going off before we even get close, let's see. Up, oh, it did find it. So, the AccuTools, thank goodness, will go to the second round this time. It took a little while to find it though. The third lead detector up is the Robinair LD7. And that was pretty definitive right there. The Robinair LD7 does find the Fortinet leak. The next leak detector we have is the Inficon TechMate. Found it a little bit there. And the TechMate does find the 410A leak. The final lead detector in part one, phase one, is the field piece SRL8. Looks like it found the leak right away. Yep. The SRL8 found the leak pretty much right away. We're gonna lead off with the NAVAC NML1. Oh, found it right there. The NAVAC MML1 finds the leak at 110 PSI. Now we have the AccuTools EL520. The 
That is a fail for the AccuTools EL520. And now we have the Inficon TechMate leak detector. That is a definite ring off for the Inficon TechMate. And now we have the Robinair LD7. Oh, just in the nick of time there for the Robinair LD7. It found it here in round two. And now we are on to the field piece SRL8. Well, yeah, I think we found it right there. Yep, the Philippines SRL8 does ring off several times. And here's a little indication. If we started hearing those ring offs and slowed down, we definitely have it right there. So it does find the leak. I'm counting that. Let me know what you think in the comments there. Does the Philippines SRL8 deserve to go to the next round? I think it definitely does. You let me know what you think. Leading off round three will be the field piece SRL-8. Now it rang off a little tiny bit. Let's see what happens if we go a little bit slower across that middle section again with this one. In fact, let me clear it out and bring it back. No. It auto zeroes after a few seconds, as you can see right there. Still nothing very definitive, so I'm gonna call that a fail. Next we have the Robinair LD7. And nothing there. Next up is the Navac NML1. Found it right there. Well, it's finding it. The Navac's doing a good job here. Pleasant surprise a Navac has turned out to be overall. So the Navac does pick up the leak. And again, when we use a lot of rapid motions, it didn't do it that time, but both times we've used rapid motions, bringing it off the coil, it's done a false alarm. But I'm convinced that the alarms on the coil are justified and accurate. So good job from the Navac. Last but not least in the third round is the Inficon TechMate. Nothing from the TechMate on this round, so it's a fail on that one. So it looks like this test to me is a little bit different than the last one. I thought we'd have the same leak detectors passing through the third round, winning the event, but it turned out not to be the case. So what I think is the definitive winner, and I'm gonna pick two to go through the next round, but I think one is really the winner of this round. That's the NABAC leak detector, the NML1. It doesn't look like much, but it won this round definitively. I thought it did a great job and I was pleasantly surprised at what an affordable leak detector can do against 410A. So a pretty good job. Now the other one I'm putting through to the second round is a little bit more iffy because I'm choosing the SRL8 because I think it did the next best job, but I really don't think it was anywhere near as good as the Navac did. 
So let me know in the comments what you think. So I'm going to put these two into the championship round. Next week, we're going to have a brand new set of leak detectors doing the same thing. The H10, the SRL2 from Fieldpiece, the DTEC Select from Inficon, and the 316-3 from Testo. Who do you think is going to win that round? After doing this one, I'm kind of confused on who's going to win. I don't know. But I'll be interested to see who comes out on top in the 410A challenge. This week, it was Fieldpiece and NAVAC. Stick around next week to see who's going to advance to the championship round.